Hi there, Jeremy Cook from Flip the Switch Education here with another quick Unity tutorial. This one we're going to be talking about triggering events on a collision through a trigger zone and how we can trigger multiple different string of events by having one specific item collide with another. So let's talk about how this is going to look. Uh, in this example scene here, there's three key cards. And what I want to have happen is have the player grab the key card, scan it on a trigger, and then that trigger will invoke some events. And in this case, my events are going to be getting rid of the key card and triggering an animation and triggering new text and so forth and so on. So what makes this nice is that this script allows you to place it on a trigger and then have a specific object that you drag from the editor into that script so that you don't have to go back and re-script everything. It allows you to just kind of drag and drop from the editor. So it, it's really nice. We're gonna start by creating a new C-sharp script that's gonna be called Trigger Event Collision. Then you're gonna go ahead and open that up. And an important thing is to make sure that since we are invoking Unity events, that at the very top in the using section, we're going to bring up using UnityEngine.Events. So that way we can use those functions and invoke the events. So the first thing that we need is to do two. So the first thing we need is a public game object and a public Unity event. So at the top, the first thing we're going to get the Unity event. So we're going to call this public Unity event. And then we're just going to call this Unity event. Call it whatever you want here, but we're just going to call it Unity event for this one. The second thing we need is the game object. So the first thing there was the uni event. What do we want to have happen? The second thing we're going to put on is we're going to put on the game object that's going to be the collider. So this is the object that collides with the object that holds this script. So we're going to call this public game object. And then this one, I always like to call this the trigger. And the reason I like to call it the trigger is to remind myself that this object, this specific game object that we are coding right in here is the object that will trigger the event, not the one where the script sits, but where the trigger comes from. So coming back into my game, these three key cards are the triggers. These are the things that the player is going to pick up and then collide with this collider here. So now that we've set that up, we're going to do our first function. So we're going to do public void and we are going to do the on trigger enter now we can just leave this collider other there that's fine so we need an if statement so we're going to say if other dot game object and we're going to do double equal sign the trigger and we're going to go down one and we're going to tell it what to do unity event dot invoke brackets and end the script. Okay, so when we're looking at this, basically what we're saying is, okay, on the trigger enter, if that game object equals the trigger, which is right here. So if the game object that enters this collider right here is the same game object that is found in here or the trigger, then it's going to invoke. If it's not any other collider, nothing's gonna happen. Only the collider that is put in there. And this is all we need to do for this script. So we're gonna file save. Okay, so you can see over here, here's my red card trigger. It sits right there. And here's the event trigger script right here. So this is how it looks. There's the event trigger, trigger events, either one. I can continue to add as many strings of Unity events as I want. Just click, click, click. And then down here, you can see there's that key card. So the key card there is dragged into this box right here. This key card here is the only thing that will trigger the events from this collider. Nothing else will. So it's nice because you can just drag and drop. If I wanna change this, I don't have to go back and recode. I can just switch the keys or switch whatever item I want. You could choose to make these multiple objects by putting brackets around it like this and then go down there and then fix it. And that would allow you to then click and add multiple different game objects to it if you wanted. I chose to just have one trigger because it really works for what I do. But if you wanted to go back in and add multiple publics in there, you could. And then that way you could have four or five things that could trigger that instead of just one. Um, so now what we'll do is I'll go into this game and 
you can see what it'll look like and how it works. Okay, so here's the key card system that I set up with the script on it. And down here are the key cards. So I'm gonna grab this red key card, I'm gonna bring it over, and when I scan this key card, it's going to do the event trigger. So it triggered the event of deleting the key card and triggering the animation that goes along with this game module. And then I also had it build in, in this model, to spawn a new collider and a new key card system. So now, when we scan the yellow card, it works this way. And then when we scan the blue card, it works and does the third thing that I needed to do. So that, so that trigger event script worked well to do all of that stuff I needed to do right in there. And it's a real simple and easy script. Hope this worked out for you. Post a comment if you have any questions. Have a great day.